we are working on ceramics and wallpapers that are, will be used in bathrooms is the one space in the house that we have that is intimate and uh, it's secret. There is a, a click on the door mm -hmm. and uh, even if the whole house is kind of white and simple, there can be this beautiful little inner sanctuary that is just secret garden. Today you can see four gardens. We have the Blossom one, which is a really bold and powerful flower garden, which sits behind a glass wall with some drops of water. So it's almost disappearing because it blurs away from you. There is another one, which is a Zen. It's another type of garden. It's very quiet, very calm, very in contrast with the Blossom. A beautiful one, which is basically a garden you could look from the sky because it's a map of Amsterdam and Firenze which merge together with a lot of little beautiful details. And if you see it from far, it looks very metallic, almost like a stone with grains. But when you go near to it, you'll see that there are streets, there are canals, there is a Vespa. The last one, which is the most oniric one, is the Garden of Dreams. It comes beautifully together with all these magical elements that float in a, in a surreal space of water, architecture, fishes, and little elements that you'll have to discover once you see it. It started with the exploration of these amazing big ceramic slabs that can be printed like wallpaper. So for us to explore these two materials together, combining them in spaces in different ways was already a big step. But then we uh, said, no, but we also, we want to do more. When we saw the, the beauty of a wall that can be so intricate and so detailed and so wonderfully different on every point. We really felt we can't have any more a white object in front of it. We have to really pull the vanity out of that wall, take that little golden handle and pull the whole thing out of the wall, make it invisible, make it out of the same material that uh, your wall is like. This collection that you see now can be really shuffled and built in different ways. Patterns, different patterns can go on the consoles, the tiles can be changed, the mirrors can be standalone, the accessories can live with the pieces. So I think it's a very versatile collection for architects and interior designers to really playfully do whatever they like with their space. A little beautiful, funny piece with our rotating stool, which of course is very useful for having the best makeup or you know set up for your evenings. I also love the mirror, the floor triptychal mirror, because it can also live on its own if you take out the cabinet. It's a beautiful window. Once you close it, you have still a door to the garden, which is printed on the back of the doors. In this archetype of arches that opens up, it's very classical, but we made it also in a very contemporary finishes and details. It becomes part of the architecture, it becomes part of the space. garden that plays a very beautiful contrast with the poetic romantic graphics that comes from the tile world but it's built up in a very architectural very brutalist type of piece which is very simple <laughs>